Hey guys, how's it going? Chess back again with episode number 10 of the Pack Only Road to Glory. We're into double figures now for this series, which is uh, going very, very well indeed. But uh, the first thing I want to cover in this one, obviously, yesterday's commentary, I, uh, I did mention that views, etc., had been down. Uh, you guys gave me loads of feedback in the comments. That it does appear that sub boxes have been a little bit dodgy recently, so do be sure, I would like to point out, do be sure that uh, if you haven't seen a video from me in your day or in your sub box, then do be sure to check my channel page because I, I am still consistently uploading every single day. And uh, regardless of sub box breakages, etc., I will still continue to upload every single day so you guys have something to watch. So uh, do be sure to uh, make sure you do check the channel page if you haven't seen me in my sub box. And another thing, the video yesterday, just the feedback was intense. You guys were absolutely amazing. The video, as I'm recording this, is uh, very, very close to 60 likes, which is the most feedback, the most positive feedback we've had on this channel for a very long time. So I just cannot thank you enough for uh, being for being so amazing and so supportive of uh, me and this channel despite the uh, lack of YouTube's ability to make its website work so you guys are absolutely amazing I cannot thank you enough I know I say it every single video and I say it about 10 times every single video but uh, I really do mean it really is heartfelt you guys are absolutely superb but uh, moving into the video then that's what we're here for we're here for some FIFA so uh, we are in Division 3 we're pushing trying to look for uh, for some more points to make sure that we are safe in Division 3 and uh, maybe hopefully looking for a promotion as well we came into this game uh, on the back of a last minute equaliser from Michael Essien so we wanted to bounce back and get a win to ensure that we could uh, you know break through that safety in division 3 barrier and make sure that we could hopefully push on to uh, to get a straight back to back to back promotion so it's 3 isn't it 5 to 4 to 3 to 2 yeah 3 promo <laughs> 3 promotions my maths is really really bad this morning jeeps but uh, yeah, we come into this one with 3 0 up as we uh, we see on screen. The previous goal was pretty nice, actually, a really nice move. Finished off with uh, a back heel through from from Bonfigli through to uh, to Kratz, who finished it off. And as you can see, after that third goal went in, the lag was unreal. It just got really, really bad. And uh, this isn't like edited or just uh, the video is not lagging itself. That's just what it was like in game. And uh, it appeared that he'd lagged out. And uh, then it appeared that the ultimate team servers just went down altogether. So we were 4 0 up. And uh, it actually gave me a loss. I was absolutely fuming. So, of course, the DNF multiplier goes down. You can see we were 10 wins, 3 draws, 3 defeats. We're now 10 wins, 3 draws, 4 defeats. Despite being 4-0 up in that game when he either quit or uh, or the servers lagged out. So, uh, unfortunately, we don't gain any, uh, any points from that one. And only minimal coins, which is extremely frustrating. Because uh, the, the coin bonus from winning... Or, you know, from getting as far through the divisions as possible is really helping us when it comes to buying packs, etc. But nonetheless, uh, we had to just carry on with it, just grin and bear it and jump into the next game. Come up against another very, very strong Premier League side. And uh, this guy was, well, sweaty, as you can see. That was his first chance of the game. Uh, just basically tried anything he could to try and tramp it across a goal, square it across a goal and get a cheap goal. And uh, this was a great technique from Al Jazani. Not a bad left-footed volley that unfortunately comes straight back off the post. But uh, promising signs in the early stages of this one that we could, uh, you know, threaten this guy and uh, hopefully get a result. And Kratz is breaking down the right-hand side here. About 10 minutes before half-time, uh, cuts around two defenders very, very nicely indeed. Brings the ball into the box. Myers is free at the back post onto his favourite right foot. Smashes it into the back of the net. So uh, we do take a 1-0 lead before half-time in this game. So I was absolutely delighted because, of course, a win, well, even a point in this one would uh, ensure that we were safe in Division 3. A win would put us even closer to promotion. And uh, we on the hour mark, we did get that little bit closer. Kratz here picking up on the loose ball after getting it knocked away from, uh, from his feet by the defender. Poor shot in fairness, but then uh, he has a moment of madness. Throws the ball straight at Hammerlein and, and uh, just pops it into the back of the net, to be fair. It's 2-0 up after uh, 63 minutes, and we were going to uh, to stroll to a, a relatively easy victory after that one. He did pull one back, Scotty P here. I uh, I tried to... I just You see the guy, my defender, turned. I, uh, I told him to pass it, but... Uh, he didn't. He decided to just turn rather than pass it in the direction that I wanted him to. And then Scotty P just ran through and scored. So unfortunately, we uh, we didn't get too lucky with that one. He was able to uh, bring one back. But it was we were able to see it out. And it was overall 
uh, a relatively comfortable win. So uh, we do take three points from that one. We'll be able to see on screen in just a minute. We do get 479 coins as well, which is very, very nice indeed. But uh, you can see on screen now, that is us safe in Division 3. We need two points for promotion, five to uh, ensure that we get a league title as well. So uh, considering we would have had enough points for uh, a silver premium pack had the game not lagged out previously, I thought I'd reward myself by getting some more uh, FIFA points. I did get 250, but we did only spend 75. I did only buy one pack, so you don't want to rush through this. You do want to take it, you know, as as steadily as possible so uh, I only bought one at premium pack and we do get a very very nice couple of players 71 rated striker Luna Argentinian so hopefully can link up quite well with Bonfigli uh, a decent German centre back as well we do have a German right back and another German centre back in the squad so uh, hopefully he will help chemistry purposes and uh, also you can see there as it's just going to disappear off screen uh, we did get a 71 rated shiny Brazilian centre mid who uh, is particularly decent uh, a lot of pace great passing as well for a silver player so uh, hopefully he can have a good impact for us in the next few games but that is going to wrap this one up then guys thank you very much for watching please do leave the video a like if you could be so kind if we could get even remotely close to the amount of likes we got yesterday then that would be absolutely amazing so uh, please do show you the same support you did to that one of course in the on this insulate on screen in the big window there is the link to the previous episode in this series if you did miss it because of course sub boxes have been down and uh, of course in the little window as well there's a random video from uh, earlier on in the week on this channel which will probably be one of the uh, one of the career mode videos that didn't do too well because uh, you know the sub boxes weren't uh, being as reliable as they should have been but anyway that is going to wrap this one up again guys so thank you very much for watching and uh, i will see you next time